Thanks for joining us here at Hit Points Gaming again for more coverage from PAX East 2020. Uh, in this video, this is actually one of the bigger games there, if you ask me. One of the bigger studios. This is from mm -hmm. Tripwire Games. Same people who made... Really? Oh, this is a game we played. Oh, Killing Floor. Yeah. I didn't know you were game. asking me. I thought you were trying oh, to keep no, the no, suspense I was going. To, well, I was, but uh, you got Killing Floor. Killing, killing Floor, which floor. is a lot of fun. A crazy, silly shooting game. Sure. This instead is a crazy killing shark game. Yes. Man-eater. I couldn't wait to actually see this. Okay. But I wasn't pulled in to see it. Uh, yeah, well, that's because when we're here for a demo and a, a schedule appointment, you're supposed to come over. Hey, everybody. Hey, right, guys. Come, come, come over here. Come over here. So only two people actually came over as opposed to everyone. But that's okay. I was able to watch the videos and everything, and um, I just didn't get to play. So... Yeah. They had a nice big booth, mm -hmm. uh, Maneater on one side and Chivalry 2 on the other. I don't, not really into Chivalry. I did not enjoy the first one, so I'm not going to touch that one. But Maneater itself, nice big booth. They had a nice little photo thing where, you know, the people shooting out of the, the boat with the shark jumping. Long line there. Every time I walked yeah. by, they had long line. They had some pretty cool swag, the shark helmet, the okay. shark uh, fins, and some frisbees. All right, so the game itself, Maneater. Yeah, did you, did you like it? Well, okay, let's not jump to, to that. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the actual game. What do you do in it? You Man are eater, a shark. You are a shark. Um, and when I talked to the guy giving us the demo, helping us with the demo, the guy who created Killing Floor, the guy who created this, I think also created Killing Floor, I could okay. be wrong. But in the meantime, after, after Killing Floor 2, he created Depth, which is another game on Steam, which is there's a team of sharks and there's a team of divers. And you're, the divers are trying to find treasure and the sharks trying to eat the divers. Fun game. I do own that as well. Another fun shark game. Very few good shark games. But then he expanded on that shark ideal to bring Maneater into this. Okay. Maneater is very similar. When I saw the first trailers for it and after playing it, it is Grand Theft Auto as a shark. Okay. Okay. Um, in, in almost every aspect, which is cool, but like, well, could you do something else? But I don't know. It, it works. Um, you are a shark, and you are trying to eat people or destroy people's times, so having you know fun times. You swim, you swim in the oceans. You're eating fish, turtles. You're finding underwater um, caves. There are collectibles in there as well. Okay. It is not a huge open area game like like uh, Grand Theft Auto. Is it like okay? Are there different levels? There's different levels. There's different. War, like maps he, he okay. explained that you will be able to visit at any time once you unlock them obviously okay so if you go to stage three you can go back to stage one got it you know to get the collect the, the collect the unlock the unlockables stuff like that but you're not going to be able to swim from one two got three okay. you're not gonna be able to do this you're gonna like kind of teleport between them. yeah it makes sense because you're in water you know whereas mm -hmm. in grand theft auto you you know you the land is more right you don't want to go in water yeah, yeah, you yeah, drown in the water. Okay. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's how you teleport. And you're just trying to eat people okay. to level up. There's levels, uh, evolutions as well. So your, car your shark levels up from, you know, a, a guppy kind of deal to a baby to a pup and, you know, all the way up teen and all okay. that stuff. You evolve differently so you can get different resistances, more, more thicker skin. Can you, can you select jump how you evolved or just when you yes. hit that level? Okay. Yeah, so you hit a level. Your levels or whatever don't, you can't do anything with that. But your evolution you get points to spend evolution points into what, what field you want to go into. Okay. Um, he did not have an answer as if if we could do whatever we wanted at an end point, end point. Meaning, like, can I unlock, can I be maxed everywhere? Okay. Or can I reset? Can I reset? Okay. Um, but the game looks very fluid. It looks very clean. It looks done. Okay. Um, he said there's like 40 hours of gameplay. It's a lot. It's I a would lot. Think. It's a lot. Okay. So there's like story mission. The, the game is a story game. It is okay. not a sandbox open world game. It does have that aspect where I, when I was in college, we would play Grand Theft Auto and just get max stars and run around and kill everything. That was you fun. can do that in this as well, um, because when you get max stars, there's no star rating like that. But if you eat enough people, the Coast Guard comes after you. A harder Coast Guard comes after. Oh, okay. You. If you eat a lot of fish. Apex predators are going to come after you. Wow. Okay. So you guys have you know you have the terrestrial and then the, the sea life coming after okay. you, depending on what you do, which was interesting, really cool. We didn't get to see the sea life thing because we kind of just played the demo and we saw the coast guard come at us. That was neat. 
Now, how would the Coast Guard attack? You can't just they, go they, the they water? They can shoot through the water. Oh, okay. They have, you know, harpoons and stuff. There's some divers that can go in the water and come after you. Oh, well. okay, sure. You know, and with that, you can then grab them and eat them in the water. You can destroy their, their ships. There's a few destroyable environments in the game, like the ships themselves. You can't necessarily disable the ship as in biting the engine. Mm -hmm. You just bite the ship itself and it becomes disabled. Okay. Um, you can flip things, you know, you can take a person and flip them and hit them into other obstacles, other people to do damage. So there's that. Um, one of the people we were there with, Kev, and I think Braden as well, said, this game looks fun. It is fun, but how fun is it going to be after a few, a few hours? Right. Is it 40 hours worth of a story? Right. And it is only story again. So yeah. there could it could be cool because there's, it could be cool because it is story. So it makes, it limits your experiences and drives you forward. Okay. So you're not going to be sitting somewhere for 10 hours wasting, you know, then, oh, now I'm, I don't want to continue the game because I'm bored. Yeah. You know, you're constantly moving forward. So okay. it has that driving force to keep you moving, getting new abilities, evol evolving. I just don't know, like they said, how much fun it's going to be at hour 20. Right. Right. It is cool, but you're a shark eating people. How many times can you eat people? But I guess we do play games that we shoot people and how many times can you shoot people with the same gun what they call a duty right people still play that game right uh there is no toxic co-op that i remember there's okay. nothing under that it's all going to just be a single player story experience okay so i hope it does well because i would love to see this somehow branded almost like depth where you have divers versus a shark mm. that, could, that could be cool Good point. It, as long as the physics of the game are solid, and I felt they were. Like when you jump on the sh on the ship, you feel the ship move. You know yeah. you're on the ship. You don't glitch. You don't. Yeah. You know. And this was at PAX. This is not released yet. Yeah, that's true. Because you know when you have a game like Sea of Thieves, right? There really isn't much depth in that game, but the physics were so solid. Look at the community. It's still there. They're still playing. Right. But this looks like if the physics are there and there's a story to it already. You know, if it's good, they might branch out, like you said, and create sharks for, um, you know, divers in, like, their next game, if, if this works out. So, yeah. I, I, I liked it. Um, my only thing is, like I keep saying, is I don't know how, how much long. fun it'll be. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Uh, I do like the ability to, you know, just kind of go in open world a little bit, but who knows. Okay. So, do you have anything? Okay. I can't wait to, I can't wait to actually try it. Okay. Thanks. You know, I, I um... Uh, I'm glad you're telling me your side of it because I think the others that, that were able to actually demo were just like, yeah, they just said, uh, I don't know how much fun it's going to be right. or how long the fun's going to last. They enjoyed it, but I didn't get a really good in-depth of what the game was like, so I'm glad I, I loved it. And do, one thing I do want to point out is Braden played this on controller and Kev played oh, on right. mouse and keyboard, so we had two different people demoing it. Mm -hmm. They both liked the controls. Kev, oh. Kev is a key as a computer guy. He does play consoles as well, and he picked up the console, the controller, and like that. Is, you know, so okay. it seems that the controls are going to be fluid and good on both peripherals. Good. So that's good to know as well. Do you know when it comes out? No. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> if you want to watch any more PAX, PAX stuff, uh, please join us more for PAX East 2020 coverage. They're not always so pretty. <laughs> hey, now how long is this story or is it once it's, you beat it? It's still being fine-tuned, okay. but it's gonna be somewhere we're guesstimating between 10 and 15 hours at the moment. Okay. Um, there's seven full regions to move through. Uh, each one offering its own challenges and each one progressing the story a little bit more as you make your way through. Or you could say, I don't want to deal with the story and just go do things. And okay. you know, It kind of reminds me a lot of GTA 5 or like, you know, GTA, but a shark. You know, that is lot one of... way to describe it. We use a lot of other games to try and really sell the concept of what it is. Right. Uh, because there isn't a lot of direct corollaries out there. So GTA, but you're a shark. Yes, it's kind of like that. Uh, the combat, Dark Souls with a little bit of punch out in there. Uh, as you come okay. across some of the other predators in the waters. Okay. Because uh, you're looking for, you know, they're going to be blinking red and saying, hey, I'm coming, but then also flashing when they're vulnerable. And so learning those tells and dodging and punching.
Yeah, I'm wondering how, just watching the videos we saw, this looks really cool, a lot of fun, but I'm wondering, how, I wonder if that's enough, you know, like. And that's why we're focusing in on just uh, the gameplay you know, and the combat itself to make sure it is a driving force that people want to come back to. I'm you, uh, crash your prey. So bite them with the right trigger, and then make your move the right thumbstick left and right to crash them around. Right thumbstick. So bite and hold. Move that thumbstick. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, so it's got like it's got more than just biting. Some skeet to it, you know, where you can actually roll with your, you know, like. There is your boost. Boost. But I mean, like, trigger, a lot of G. Yeah, we would, we would oh, just play like GTA spin or something. That is your left ball. Oh, yeah. Heat, stop running yeah. around, you know? There you go. Now I'm speedy. What's a little icon to me? It means that you're self locked onto them. If you attack, that's what you're going to go for. So is there, is there a, like a lock on? There isn't a hard lock, there is a soft lock. Okay. So if you're looking at something, you'll see that little icon. That means, hey, that's where I'm going to go grab. Could you go get something other than fish braiding? Uh, get the turtle. Get the turtle. Oh, he will soon. Get the turtle. Jump on so, land. Get a job. Uh, something. Uh, I'm going to kick uh, tail spinner and this turtle. You have turtle. a harpoon in you or something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he said get out of here. Okay. I did. He's going to believe that turtle? Yes. Yeah. Now, do you know if this was this designed for controller or keyboard mouse? Yes. Whichever one you pick up, it's designed for. Okay. All right. That's like a what's this? PC, Xbox, PS4, May twenty second. Switch later this year. How large of a world? Where does it take place? Fictionalized Gulf Coasts. Okay. Uh, seven major regions, all with a unique look and feel. So seven different regions that open world you can travel open to? Open world you okay. can travel to. Cool. You're kind of fenced in at the very beginning, but if you know what you're doing, you can break out of it. You'll okay. see some people. That's cool. And there's some boats. Too. Now it's teaching you about those lunges. Don't scare them away just yet, Brady. Get them. Yeah. yeah. Jump on the boat. Jump on the boat. So is there a way to like for you to sink the boat or is it just really you're just trying to? You can sink the boat. Okay. Uh, the, the best way to uh, destroy a boat is to go after the fleshy meat bags on top. Boats are a bit hard. So there's like destruction kind there of There is destruction. Out. And it'll change depending on the size and the powers of your shark. Oh. Okay, so as you progress. The larger your shark, the more you can, yeah, action you can take to sink a boat by landing on top of it or biting into it. Okay. Shake them around. So as you progress through the story, I guess you do unlock new uh, moves and your shark gets bigger, or do you put points into it to grow it? You unlock new evolutions. Okay. There are organ evolutions and there's body evolutions. Okay. And this will allow you to tailor your shark a little bit more to how you want to experience it. Now there is a bug right now, which you're currently seeing, where not all humans and not all fish will react to our shark being here. That's the sort of stuff we're working <laughs> on fixing now. So if you breach the surface one more time, it's going to teach you another new move. Breach the surface onto the boat. Slant up. Yeah, just breach. Just jump out. Jump out. Go down a little bit and then lunge up. your way up. Hey. Hey. Now it's got one more move to teach you. So you're going to you're going to grab something again, and then you're going to whip shot it. And use it as a projectile. Is that a guy? Oh, that's a kite or something? Yep. So why don't you try it out on that grouper? Bite and hold. And now, use that left bumper. No, you're trying to throw it. Oh, wow. You hit the chain in front of you. You did it. Just grab the body. Yeah, that's what he's trying to say. You're trying to throw it. Yeah. He hits it with his tail. 
probably best to go like right here because we have the back. Let's see what that does. Uh, explosion. Alright, so now you know most of the basic mechanics of the game. And it's giving you your first quest. Why don't you go join the beach party and kill some beach goers? I love killing beach goers for start. That's over here though. Right? Yep. So now that that blue is outlined just to show you that's that's a beach goer. Something going, or is that no, part of the oh, mission? No, that's, that's like just, what I can kill, I guess. Yes, that's okay. just Soft lock, but you're a little far away, so you're not going to be, you know. Does it play into anything with the sharks, like yes, sense of smell with blood? You. Does that come uh, into play anywhere? Or? It does not. Okay. Oh, so you have an oxygen again. level. That's pretty cool. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's just been for some you. time out of water. Oh. It's been too long, and you're perished. But maybe okay. there's some evolutionary choices you can make to okay. allow you to do some more. Now, is anything out of this game besides this crazy shark? It's not real. Um, know, like zombies or uh, a megalodon, you know, something like that. There's that some crazy things to. in the deep. Okay. Okay. I'll take oh it. Oh my god! <laughs> You're just bouncing around, having fun at the bounce house. So, why don't you continue to terrorize these humans? They're major, like I see, like the boat, the boat uh, props. Can you hit things into the propellers to that? Does that cause uh, the propels? Not so much, but let's just say maybe there's some bounty hunters coming after you and they start throwing barrel bombs into the water. Okay, perhaps you send them back with okay. a vengeance. Okay, or perhaps you pick up a swordfish and you use it as sort of like a sniper rifle. Okay, so there's stuff like that in this as well. That's yeah. cool. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I leveled up. <laughs> you did, but you also got the Coast Guard called on you. Oh. Nice. All right, it good. Scale now you can see this. Oh, oh they're going to harm Oh, my oh, God. Whoa. Oh, my God. There's how to dodge. And the one Tell piece of them. suggestion Tell I'll them. give is the fleshy meat bags on top of the boat are much easier to kill than the boat itself. How do you heal? Is it just by eating other eating things? things? Okay. Jump on top of the boat. You're dancing? You're dancing with them? Huh? You're dancing? Try to smack them. Is there any other game modes besides just this, you know, like a 
time attack, a, a horde, something, you know. There is no other game mode. It's all a story-driven game. So. Okay. Okay. Now, there are some things to do within the worlds. Is there one save file? Do we know? Can we have multiple players? I uh, saw three, three saves. Files. Three saves. Okay. Second boat's down, you should probably have a snack before the third one comes out. Uh, the other one's coming, where did he go? There he is. Nice. Oh man. I hope we see the shark dive. I just want to see what the screen says. The shark like flopping around and I worry about this lock. This lock on. Wow. Better get him before he shoots Almost you. Almost got me there. You better, you <laughs> you better get him before he does. Wow. Yeah. You've called out the boss. He's gonna hold me up, uh, big sir. <laughs> saying anything so I don't know if this is the end the end just being seen here. This is game over. It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. He's not saying anything. Yeah. What could it possibly be? Maybe I want to see the yeah, keyboard yeah, mouse. Yeah, Should I get the keyboard mouse? Do you want to play keyboard mouse? I just want to see what keyboard mouse looks like, if you don't mind. Play how it, how it goes. Yeah, start, just touch the keyboard and mouse. Get oh, that's cool too. Go down. Your first quest is behind you. That's what I want to see, yeah. It's going to send you to the grotto. So, why don't you turn around, make way around the bay, and enter that grotto. Let's stay underwater because there might be a few things to see along the way. Lots of things to do and 
explore in this world. Okay, that's why I wanted to see like logs, quest. So there's a main story quest and then you have like these little side. Each region has its own set of explorables and small little story moments. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look at, uh, that is. Uh, a baby shark is called a pup. Let me ask you. 